Good morning children. Hope you are safe and doing good. Today we are going to revise the topic matter around us. First we want to know that what is an element. What is element? An element is a pure substance and cannot be broken down by chemical methods into simpler components. Okay. Then the elements consist of only one type of atom. The elements consist of only one type of atom. For example, we can take as gold, A, U. So when you can break into simpler components, we cannot break it, but you will broke it into pieces also. You will get it again into gold only. We are not getting any other element, isn't it? Okay. Then, a atom is the smallest particle of an element. An atom is the smallest particle of an element. The next, we are uh, find we find out the hundred and eighteen elements in the world. Some of the elements, many elements, most of the elements we natural found naturally on Earth, but some of few elements were created in laboratories by scientists. Okay. Next, next we are going to learn about the uh, symbols, how to write the symbols. Here the symbols of the most common elements, mainly non-metals, use the first letter of the English name. Okay, now you can see here that carbon. So what is the first letter of this carbon? C. So what is the symbol of this is C. Then you can see here that this is the image of that. Hydrogen, H. What is the first letter of hydrogen? H. So, H. Okay. Now we can see some of the elements. In the first letter we are writing as a symbol. Okay. Here you can see that the elements first letter as a symbol. So, here all these elements are going to write the first letter as a symbol. Okay, what is that the first element is fluorine. So, what is the symbol? F, yeah, very good. Then the next one is boron. So, what is the symbol? The first letter is B. So, the symbol is B. Then nitrogen, N. Then iodine, I. So, do you understood? Then we are going to see some of the first letter or same. So, how can we write the symbol? Here you can see that the barium and bismuth, the first letter is B. So we can take the second letter, uh, include the second letter followed by that. Okay. Then you can see that the symbol barium B A. The followed by the letter is a small letter. Then B I. Then nickel N I. Then neon N E. So we are writing the first letter followed by the second letter. Then you can see the elements with same two letters. If the elements, the first two letters are same. So what will happen? Here you can see that. Argon, A R. Arsenic, the first two letters are same. So argon symbol is A R. Arsenic symbol as AS. Okay. Here you can see that chlorine Cl, chromium Cr. Some more example we can see that calcium Ca, cadmium Cd, magnesium Mg, manganese Mn. Here the first and first and third letter. Some of the elements are used on the basis of Greek or Latin name of the elements. Here you can see some of the elements sodium, the Latin name is natrium, the symbol is Na. And then the lead, plumpum, symbol P, B. And then silver, argentum, A, G. See here, A, G. And then iron, Ferrum, F, E. Okay. Now you are going to see the symbols, rules, how to write the symbols. Okay. The first one, 
If the element has a single letter as a symbol, okay, it should be written in a capital letter. If the elements having two letter symbols, the first letter should be capital followed by small letter. Calcium Ca. The first cap uh, letter C is capital and the followed by the small letter. Okay, now the classification of elements. Elements are classified as metals, non-metals and metalloids. Okay, so now we are going to see the physical properties of metals and non-metals. Here you can see that metals and non-metals. The first one is uh, metals are solid under normal condition of temperature and pressure. But here the, it is a solid, liquid or gas. Any form of uh, the metals. We are getting any form. It is solids or liquids or gas at a normal temperature. And then most metals are hard. Here that generally it is not hard except diamond. The diamond is a non-metal. It is a hard non-metal. All others are soft metal. Non-metal. It has high density, so non-metal has low densities. And then it is a, metal is a good conductor of heat and electricity. So non-metal is not a good conductor of electricity. But exception is there. Graphite is an exception. And then uses of metals. You are going to see the first use. Iron. Iron is a metal. It is used to making bridges, engine parts, iron sheets and bars and then copper copper is also making electrical wires coins and statue and then silver and gold it is making a jewels and then the aluminium it is used as electrical wires cables and in aerospace industries okay and then we are going to see the uses of non-metals okay the first diamond is a non-metal it is making jewels Cutting and gr grinding the equipments also. Cutting the equipments. Okay, the next one is graphite. It is make it is used to make the pencil lead. You can see the pencil you now inside the black color lead. It is used to make the pencil lead. And then the sulfur. It is used to manufacture of gunpowder and vulcanization of rubber. Okay. And then it is used as a phosphorus pas uh, is a non-metal. This phosphorus is the used to make matchboxes, rat poison and etc. Okay. Then the nitrogen. We all know that nitrogen is used for the manufacturing of ammonia. Then metalloids. Now you want to know that what are metalloids? The elements exhibit the properties of both metals as well as the Non-metals are called metalloids. Here you are seeing some of the example: boron, silicon, arsenic, germanium, antimony, tellurium and polonium. Okay. And then we are going to see the compound. What is a compound or define compound? Compound is a pure substance. is formed due to the chemical combination of two or more elements in a fixed ratio by mass. Here we are seeing the examples water, carbon dioxide and sodium chloride. You can take water H2O. Here you are seeing the two amount of hydrogen and one amount of oxygen. So the ratio, by the ratio it is 1 is to 2. Oxygen is 1, hydrogen is 2. But mass, the weight so it is 16, it is 2. So 8 is to 1. Okay, 8 is to 1. Okay, good. Then compounds are classified as inorganic compounds and organic compound. Here the inorganic compounds, how we can uh, prepare the inorganic compounds? Can non-living sources. We are getting from the non-living sources such as rock, minerals from that. Okay, example chalk, bleaching powder and etc. Then how are you getting the organic compounds? We are getting organic compounds from the living organism 
such as plants and animals we are getting the organic compounds from the uh, living uh, sources such as plants and animals for example you can see that the protein and carbohydrates now we are going to see some of the compounds name and their constituents elements okay so if you want to know the compounds now we are going to see some compounds and then you are going to see the some uh, that their const what are the elements present in the compounds so the first compound silica so you should know the formula for silica so sio2 then only you know the constituent elements so how many elements are present two elements silicon and oxygen and the next one is copper sulfate what is the formula for copper sulfate cu s o 4 so how many elements are present three elements copper sulfur and oxygen and then sulfuric acid what is the formula for sulfuric acid yes h2 s o 4 so how many elements are present here three elements what are they hydrogen sulfur and oxygen very good then methane what is the formula for methane very good ch4 so what are the how many elements present two elements carbon and hydrogen okay now we are going to see some of the common name and their chemicals name and formula okay so here water you want to know what is the chemical name of water dihydrogen monoxide what is the chemical name dihydrogen monoxide formula you all know that h2o so what is the next compound common salt what is the chemical name of common salt sodium chloride what is the formula na cl na cl and the next one sugar what is the chemical name of sugar sucrose what is that sucrose what is the chemical formula c12 h22o11 c12 h22o11 and the next one is baking soda baking soda what is the chemical name of baking soda sodium bicarbonate formula is nahco Three and then the washing soda. Okay, that is sodium carbonate NaCO three. Okay, the next you can see that the common name, chemical name, and then formula. So now it is a bleaching powder. What is the chemical name of bleaching powder? Calcium oxy. chloride okay caclo twice and then quick lime that is calcium oxide cao the next one is slacked lime what is the chemical name of slacked lime calcium hydroxide caoh twice the formula is okay a limestone calcium carbonate ca co3 do you understand children good next we are going to see some of the compounds and their uses the first compound is water it is used for drinking and is also used as a solvent and then the table salt it is essential component of our daily diet preservative for meat and fish then the next compound is sugar it is used for the preparation of sweets and fruit juices then the baking soda it is used for fire extinguisher and the preparation of baking powder and preparation of cakes and bread then washing soda it is used for uh, used as a cleansing agent in soap and softening of hot water and then it is used for uh, bleaching powder the next compound as a bleaching agent disinfectant and sterilization of drinking water and then the quick lime it is used for the manufacture of cement and 
glass. And the slapped lime is used for whitewashing of walls. Then finally the limestone is used for the preparation of chalk pieces. Do you understand children? Yes, very good. Let's have a recap. So you learned element consists of only one type of atom. You learned the example gold. And then uh, the symbols. We can uh, use the first letters of the English name. Isn't it? We can use the symbol as the first letter of the English name. And then we, elements are classified as metal, non-metals and metalloids. Then the symbols of elements. We learned some symbols of the elements. And then we learned the constituents elements of the compounds. Yes. Then we learn compounds and their uses. Thank you children.